guys welcome back to Maze's Kitchen today I'm gonna to be making for you escovitch fish and the fish that I'm gonna be using today is yellowtail snapper but for today I'm gonna to be making um, escovitch fish and as you can see I already core wash dry pre-seasoned my fish I'm gonna be showing you the seasoning that I used to season my fish because I'm making escovitch I want to have bold flavors in my fish I want the fish to be tasty and crispy nice you know to right down to the bone okay so here I have some cayenne pepper which I'm going to be mixing together to show you what I have on my pre-seasoned fish okay you can have your fish marinated overnight or you can just maybe season go right into your frying or you can let them sit for half an hour whatever you're comfortable with okay but as long as you have a good season on your fish you don't really have to pre-season overnight or let it sit it's all up to you what your preference is okay but what I have here is about quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper one heap teaspoon of seasoned salt and the seasoning salt that I'm going to be using today is cool runnings an awesome Jamaican brand and this is some paprika that's about a half a teaspoon and half a teaspoon of black pepper so I just simply mix all of them together and then season my fish okay so this is what's on my fish right now so I have these already pre-seasoned so I'm gonna be just maybe dusting a little bit more okay Everything is already pre-seasoned guys, so I'll, I just did this to show you how I season my fish Okay, and if anything if I see like I Need a little bit more then I'll use it to touch up, but that's it So what I'm gonna be doing now is get straight into my frying. I'm just gonna be adding my oil I guys I already have my My pan and the stove that I'm gonna be using to fry my fish and the oil that I'm going to be using today is vegetable oil. I like to have my oil enough in my pan to cover one side of my fish that I only flip twice. You need to have your oil well hot if you're going to be making fried fish. Otherwise it will break apart and you won't get that nice crispiness that you want on your fried fish, your escovitch fish. You need it to be crispy, juicy at the same time, you know, so... An important thing to make sure is that your oil is really hot till you see it almost start to smoke okay so we're gonna let our oil heat and then we're gonna start our frying okay guys so what I'm doing now is just adding a little bit more seasoning to my fish because I'm seeing parts that's missing seasoning and I want to make sure that my fish is absolutely packed with flavors so I want to make sure I get all the insides because I want every bite to, to have the seasoning going through it okay I put these cores in and put the seasoning so the season can just seep right into the fish this is the most important part is to make sure that your fish is tasty all the way through some only season with salt and pepper which is fine nothing wrong with that um everybody escovitch fish is different everybody likes to do things a different way which is perfectly good so don't criticize other people that they do their fish a certain way and you gotta put this and you gotta be put that because cooking is an adventure and everybody cooks differently. Everybody like to have something different and that's what make cooking amazing. Say that to say this, not every escovitch fish has to be seasoned or done the same way, okay? Everybody is an individual and most of them taste good. Okay, so enough talking, let's get frying. Okay guys, so my oil is hot enough that I can start adding my fish okay so a good thing to do when you're adding your fish is to put the fish away from you so it doesn't burn you you don't burn yourself okay I 
And remember when you're placing your fish to make sure that you have enough room to turn them so they don't stick to each other. And we're just gonna leave that to fry. And then I'll see you back in a minute. Hi guys, keep in mind that frying fish is a very messy process. And I'm gonna show you a little trick. If, if you're cooking inside and you wanna eliminate the odor from the fish, you can burn some candles in here. On the stove I have some lemon with hot water. I'm just gonna boil that because that's gonna help take away from some of the, the odor from the fish. I'm going to show you. It's good to turn your fish head and tail because this will help you to give the, uh, the fish some room to turn free. Okay, so they don't stick together. It's good not to throw the pan. Okay. You want your fish to be fried completely on both sides. You just need to check your stove periodically to make sure that your fish is not burning. When you feel like you got the color that you need, the brownness, or the crispiness on one side, then it's time to turn it. You will know, because when you lift it, it should be golden brown like this. This is what you wanna see when you turn it. A nice crispy, nice firmness. And you know your fish is nice and crispy. For my first set of fish, and I'm just finishing up for the second batch. So I'll see you back in a minute. Finished frying our fish. So now I'm gonna be doing the, the season part, okay? Cooking up my season for the escovit. My peppers and onions and stuff for my escovit. So over here, I'm just gonna be using about a spoon of oil if i was to measure by tablespoon i would say that's probably about maybe three tablespoon of oil and again everybody do theirs differently so i'm just going to be adding the onion you don't want to overcook this because you need all the crispiness okay so we had a lot of seasoning on our fish also all the saltness and stuff is on the fish already so we do not want to add anything to my peppers and stuff. This is only going to be cooking for a few minutes. Okay, so we're just going to be doing this to just soften a little bit the peppers and the onions. So we're going to be adding about five tablespoons of vinegar. A whole scotchamani pepper. We're going to be adding our peppers and then we're going to be adding red pepper, some green, some yellow and we have our scallion here we're going to leave for garnishing. Okay. going to turn off our stove we're going to add a little bit more vinegar because this looks like it's a lot of pepper so we can taste some more. So we're going to add maybe another two tablespoons of vinegar. And we're going to add about a spoon of white sugar to break up the tea of the vinegar. There you go. You don't want to overcook it, so I'm actually going to remove it from the heat so it doesn't continue to cook. And here you have it. Vegetable, onions and carrots. Acidic, but still have a little bit of sweetness from the sugar and the carrots.